Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rev, and today I'm going to be telling you everything you want to know about Seraph in Rogue Lineage. Also, a pretty hilarious number of you watching aren't actually subscribed, so please consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. It means the world to me, and remember, it only takes a moment out of your day, and you can change your mind at any time. Anyways, here's the video. Okay, so let's start with the basics. What is a Seraph? Seraph is a race that can only be acquired through a developer giving you the race personally. Over a year ago, a while after I posted my first Iron Lineage, Rag posted a now deleted message which paraphrased to, anyone who contributes to or changes the community in a notably positive way will be granted Seraph. The only evidence of this post that I could find was Rag saying, quote, Seraph can be achieved by contributing to the community in some way. So, who has Seraph? The current Seraphs are the devs of the game, Raguzer, Archmage, Grimkind aka Bobby, Melon Sensei aka Par, and Aptorian. Also Nilvat. Nilvat's a contributor to the game who made models like Sigil Helmet. He was offered real money for his work, but instead he decided to ask for in-game stonks. In this case, Seraph, and some specs on top of it. And finally me, Reevolu, the only normie to get the race. So, how did I, a paid access player like all of you, manage to get such an exclusive race? And is it possible for you to get it right now as well? Well, it all started early in 2019, when paid access was released for purchase, where I bought the game and was immediately an unstoppable prodigy. I played during a time where the mainstream form of progression was getting boosted, and information on progressing was extremely scarce and safeguarded. People actually paid to get information, because the game had so many secrets that only testers and houses knew, and they wouldn't release it to the public players. It was a hard time for players like us. It was a time where it was common to have 20 hours on a character that was super class at best. The tundra was a dangerous place and intimidating place, where death was almost certain. There were few people who could navigate it, without getting lost or killed while listening to Great Sword Get to Wiping on repeat. Great Sword Get to Wiping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was the golden era for Rogue Lineage paid access players. But, Rev, what does this have to do with getting Seraph? Shut up, get your filthy fingers out of the comment section, I'm getting to that. In short, I was one of the first normal players who ran around discovering things and sharing it with people. In fact, I was one of the first people in the well-known Rogue Lineage Info Discord. I was a solo player who discovered tons of knowledge and I shared it with basically everyone I met. When I started releasing Iron Lineage, where I challenged myself to progress completely solo, it changed the game. People who were previously unable to progress learned from my videos, and suddenly there were people everywhere successfully progressing without being boosted. People who I inspired to do so. And while I'm not saying I discovered the Tespian, I do think I heavily influenced and impacted the community by helping all players progress. In fact, I reached so many people that after I successfully soloed Wraith Knight in episode 3 of the original Iron Lineage, I even got Rag's attention. He commented on the video saying, Hey, Rag here. Love the series. I'm gonna make some ways so solo progression of corruption and purity is more feasible. Good luck with your series. I kind of freaked out, especially after he said he was a fan of the series and player general and proceeded to ping me saying he'd give me Seraph if I soloed every class. And naturally I started sweating out soloing classes until I had soloed all of the classes except for Necro and Bard, not even having enough time to edit them and upload them. A few months later during Deep Woken's testing, he told me that I had done enough by both having a major impact on the community and soloing the majority of the classes that I earned Seraph. Hey, this is an editor's note. I'm sitting here editing this video right now, and uh, I just wanted to point out that a lot of people are probably wondering where all of the Iron Lineages are that I didn't upload, and the real answer is that they're long gone. Either they're on my old laptop that I used to originally record, or they were on stream. I streamed a lot of the Iron Lineages, including Oni and Illusionist, so if you were there for those streams, you were there. Shout out to the homies, but... That's where all of the rest of the Iron Lineages are. They were all done live, because I didn't have time to edit and upload them because of the challenge. So I got Seraph, thanks to you guys. It's almost more your Seraph than it is mine. And nobody's gotten it since. So is Seraph obtainable? Rag said that your odds are nearly zero. Also, you don't get Seraph by soloing every class. That was my specific challenge that Rag gave to me as an individual. Soloing every class will not get you Sarah because it was never a requirement in the first place. 
Your only chance is to greatly impact the community and get noticed by the devs, which is a tremendous task, and even then, your odds of getting Seraph are still really low. It's pretty much safe to say that Seraph is now basically unobtainable. So how good is Seraph, and what can it even do? Seraphs have infinite lives and kill everyone just by looking at them funny. Wait, no, that's just what everyone thinks Seraph can do. When a Seraph first spawns in, they are an orb of light that can choose a destination to angel fall on. While you are in this form, you are still affected by fog, making tundra navigation a little bit difficult. I can't see shit! And you will stay a set distance away from the ground beneath you. You can stay in this orb form forever, however, for some reason, you still have a hitbox, so you can take damage, get knocked, and even burn to death. You will enter this form again by respawning in any way, including jumping off the map, resetting, dying, and going back to your spawn from Sky Castle. Angel Fall is a move that's only usable while you're in the orb form. It deals a small amount of damage, knocks back, and disarms everyone it hits, although it is blockable by using Mana Shield. This move, like other racial abilities, cannot be copied by Navarins. Now let's get into some of the passives. Seraphs have infinite hunger, Tomeless on spawn, Gate learned on spawn, they can't backcast Gate ever, yes, even in combat at any percent, they have immunity to this fire, this fire, and this fire, which means they can also do this. Nice. Vampires that feed on a Seraph burn to death. Is he gonna feed off you? Seraph names don't show on the leaderboard, and also we keep the last armor we bought until we get rid of it. So since I have a spider cloak, I will keep it through all of my wipes until I buy a new armor. Note, uber armors don't actually exist in the Gaia code, so if I go to K, get uber, die and come back, the game will actually freak out, and I'll be very naked and very exposed and very uncomfortable with no armor. The reason this passive even exists is because every other Seraph has spec armors that have to be slapped on through a console command. Another important note is that the gate is normal and it definitely still takes up a snap slot. A few other random side notes about Seraph. If I go into the Tomeless portal, I won't take damage, but I will be stuck in there since I'm already Tomeless and I'll be in mortal danger forever even if I manage to gate out. If I carry you into the white fire and take you out, it'll count your race towards the Tomeless gate, and yes, Seraphs can go Abyss Walker. So overall, is Seraph good? Personally, I love it. It's the best race for a solo player like myself by far. It's insanely good for me. However, as a whole, it's probably around A or B tier. Most of its passives are mundane when you consider they are acquirable by anyone or are very situational and weak. Being incapable of backfiring is even a drawback in my opinion, so yeah. However, I love it, and I'm glad to be one of the seven players who have it. Oh, also, I can't roll off of it. The Ferryman literally doesn't let me. So, if I did want to get rid of it, I'd have to go Construct Cameo or Azale. Oh, oh, before I forget, Seraphs are white, with white hair, and they have golden blood. So, yeah, that's basically everything you need to know about Seraph. That's all I've got. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. This video took a lot more work than you'd think, and uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, that's, that's it. That's all I've got. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.